Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to make this flamingo macarons. I also offer a free template on my blog that you can print and place under your mat or parchment paper to pipe your own flamingos. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel, I post new videos every week. Let's get right to it. Let's start with the batter. Place a bowl over a pan with barely simmering water, add sugar and egg whites to the bowl and whisk until the sugar has completely melted. You can test by touching the mixture with your fingers and if you don't feel any sugar granules, you can remove it from the heat. Transfer the syrup to the bowl of a mixer. With the whisk attachment, start whisking the mixture on low and then gradually increase the speed to medium or to medium high. And whip the meringue until you achieve stiff peaks. When you pull up the whisk, the peak should be shooting straight up and not bending down to the side. Now I'm transferring the meringue to this bowl so I can show the macaronage process a little bit better. Add the sifted powdered sugar and almond flour to the stiff meringue. And start folding with a spatula. As soon as you see no more dry ingredients in the meringue, stop stirring. And here we're going to divide the batter between three different bowls. You will need only a tiny little bit of black and white batter so you can make the beak of the flamingos. You really don't need a lot of black and white batter, so I'm only going to take a little bit of batter to make those colors. Work with one bowl at a time, leaving the other bowls covered meanwhile. I'm going to start with the black batter. Add a little bit of black food coloring and fold until the perfect consistency is achieved. The batter should be flowing off the spatula slowly and effortlessly. Now we're going to transfer the black batter to a piping bag fitted with a number 3 tip. Tie the top of the piping bag with a bag tie so it doesn't dry out. Next, we're going to work with a second batter. I didn't add any food coloring to the second batter to keep it just white. Fold it until the perfect consistency is achieved. The batter should be flowing off the special slowly and effortlessly. Now we're going to transfer the white batter to a piping bag fitted with a number 4 tip. And secure the top with a tie. Now let's color the pink batter. Add a little bit of food coloring. I'm using fuchsia gel food coloring. Fold until the perfect consistency is achieved. You should be able to pick up some batter and form several figure eights with the batter that's flowing off the special without having a break up. And even after it breaks up, it should still continue to flow off the special slowly and effortlessly. Transfer the pink batter to a piping bag fitted with a number 8 tip. You can grab the free templates for the flamingos on my blog, I'm going to put a link down below in the description box. And now we're going to pipe the flamingos. Let's start by piping the flamingos body with the piping bag positioned at a 90 degree angle at the head and then drag the piping bag along the whole body of the flamingo. At the bottom you can apply a bit more pressure so you can release more better since this part is a little bit larger. Then use a toothpick to smooth out the batter and to drag it out to the outlines. Tap the trays against the counter or against the palm of your hands to release any air bubbles and also to help the batter spread out nicely and smooth out. Then grab the white batter and pipe just a small drop of batter in the white part of the beak. 
Then immediately use a toothpick to spread out the batter to the outlines of the beak portion. Lastly, pipe the black part by simply piping a dot of black batter at the end of the beak. And then do the same and use a toothpick to drag the batter out slightly so it spreads out to the shape of the beak. Continue to pipe all the macarons. Don't forget to pipe both sides, the flamingos facing right and the flamingos facing left, so you can pair them up later. After piping the macarons, you're gonna let the tray sit for a while for 20 to 40 minutes depending on how humid the day is and also on how wet the batter was. You know the macarons are ready to be baked when you can touch the surface of a macaron and it doesn't stick to your finger. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of this part of the macarons, so I'm just going to tell you about it. Bake the macarons in the preheated 325 Fahrenheit oven. Bake one tray at a time, bake for about five minutes, rotate the tray, and then continue to bake for another 10 to 15 minutes. When the macarons are done baking, you should be able to move a macaron without it feeling jiggly. If the macaron feels jiggly, just continue to bake a little bit longer. Now we're going to make the wings so they have a chance to dry. Melt the chocolate or candy melts and color it with food coloring. Attention, most food colorings will not work with chocolate or candy melts. It will make them seize. That's why I'm using powder food coloring. You need to get food coloring that is proper for chocolate. You can also grab this template for the wings on my blog. Pipe or spoon a small dollop of chocolate at the end of each wing template. And then use the back of a spoon to spread out the batter to form a wing shape. Make sure that the wings are not too thin or they will break when you try to move them later. Immediately after piping the wings, place them in the fridge. Now for the legs, I'm going to use some fondant. Grab a tiny little piece of pink fondant and roll it out against the counter to form a thin snake shape. Then slice two pieces of fondant the same size. Attach the two pieces at the top and then fold one of the legs over the other for me a number four shape.
Let the legs dry for a couple of hours before placing it on the macarons. Now we're going to use an edible marker to draw the eyes on the flamingos. Now we're going to make a quick buttercream to fill our macarons. Beat the butter at medium speed in the bowl of a mixer. Then add the powdered sugar and mix to combine. Turn the speed to medium and cream for another one to two minutes. Add vanilla and food coloring. Place the frosting in a piping bag fitted with a small round tip. Pipe a small amount of frosting on each bottom shell of the flamingos. Then place a leg in the middle of each shell and top with another shell so the leg is attached in the middle of each macaron. Then you can remelt some of the chocolate they used for the wings before and brush a tiny little bit on each flamingo body. Then remove the wings from the fridge and attach a wing to each macaron. Finally, if desired, you can also brush each flamingo with pink luster dust. So these are the flamingo macarons. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. For the full recipe, for instructions and for the templates, just click the link down below in the description box to go to my blog, paisandtacos.com. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!